I'm gonna be busting 101 of the craziest Roblox Bed Wars myths. Starting off with the myth that you can get over 60 diamonds in the first few seconds of a match. I'm currently in 30v30, and by having all players go to one diamond gen, we can wait until this orb gives us each one diamond. Doing this twice, we can get a tier 3 generator, allowing us to be able to easily win the game. Now this next myth could make you one of the most powerful Bed Wars players ever. That's because the new best PvP method has just come out, which apparently allows you to land combos like this. Let's put that to the test. I set a macro to match the exact speed of this method, and I'm about to PvP one of the best Roblox Bed Wars players. And yo, this combo is crazy. No way. No way. Yeah, this myth is true. This is the enchantment table. Now there's a myth that you could actually get a secret enchant, which has less than a 0.001% chance. I spun through hundreds of enchants and continued to get normal enchants. That is until... Yeah, I didn't get anything. Now that was just three of the 101 myths we'll be busting today, with some of them being the best ones I've ever done. Also, at 40k, I'll be happy, so consider subscribing. There's been an age-old myth since the release of Bed Wars. The skill equal wins. I'm here with a player with over 10,000 wins, so let's put that to the test. Okay, so hopefully I can win this, bro. Oh, I hit him? How did he get the bed? Wait, what? Please. Please, bro. Oh my god. Well, that's myth confirmed. This next myth is one I'm definitely interested in, as apparently, being AFK gives more XP than actually playing. There's no chance. I spent an hour playing normal matches and an hour in the AFK area. I earned around 3,000 XP playing normally and 1,200 while AFK. This was honestly shocking. The AFK room actually gives almost half the XP which you would get from normally playing, which is insane considering the fact that you can quite literally do it while sleeping. This is a nightmare player, and this is me, a noob with no rank. But the question is, does rank equal skill? All right, let's go for the eight iron rush. Now we should be able to get this kill. I do not like this game. Think is back, and there's a myth that playing by yourself is the easiest way to win games. Let's put that to the test. I played five different games with and without my team. I ended up only winning two matches as a group, but four as a solo. Yeah, this was very surprising, which means that if you play alone, you'll get put in easier lobbies. Myth confirmed. With the recent update, many players think auto-clicking is the best method for PvP. This is one of the most skilled Bed Wars players. And this is me, a noob, but I'm gonna see if I can beat him by only using an auto clicker. All right, three, two, one. Yo, auto clicker is actually kind of good. I'm actually comboing him like crazy. No chance I win. No chance. Dang, that's actually myth confirmed. Long ago, many players would attempt the hardest challenge in Roblox Bed Wars, the 1v30 challenge. Okay, so in today's video, I had the opportunity to go ahead and do a 1 versus 30 clutch for the second time. So I gave myself one hour to do an entire 1v30 clutch, okay? Basically, a player would try to win a 30v30 match as a solo player. And that brings us to the question, is it still even possible? With the release of new overpowered kits, enchants, and so much more, more, it's actually really hard to say. So if you're a pro player, then I'd highly recommend you try this challenge by letting all of your teammates die in a 30v30 match. But trust me, it won't be easy. This is Lila, and apparently, you can have four crossbows at the same time. Now this does require some luck, but first, purchase the Lila crossbow. Now get the headhunter and tactical crossbow from Lucky Blocks. Then finally, purchase the Lila headhunter. And no way, bro. We have four crossbows at the same time, which can one-shot emerald armor. Myth confirmed. The myths we busted before are nothing in comparison to the ones we'll be busting later on, so trust me, you don't want to miss it. Now there's a myth which may entirely change the way we play Bed Wars, which is that using the Evelyn kit skin will actually make you move slightly faster. Let's see if that's true. I'm currently using the Evelyn kit skin while my alt is using none. We are about to go in 3, 2, 1, and dude, what? The Kitskin is actually moving so much faster.
disaster. Yeah, wow, it actually won. While this could just be lag, I think this myth is actually true. This is the Monarch, and this is the Titan, and there is a myth that you could actually fight them both at the exact same time. By getting the Monarch to phase 2, and then waiting until the Titan spawns, this happens. Yeah, this is downright horrifying. And dude, they just sent you flying. Well, this myth is definitely confirmed, but there's an age-old glitch that just might still work. Armor with Elder Tree. Apparently, if I have a Steel Ball and my opponent holds out his armor, it will steal the armor and give it to me. Let's put that to the test. I'm gonna throw the ball and no way, dude. That is insane. So you can literally have armor with Elder Tree. Myth confirmed. This is a level 1 account and this is a level 28 slot. Do higher level players get put into harder lobbies? Let's put that to the test. I queued into solos on both accounts and got mostly newer players on the level 1 slot. But when I queued in on my main, yeah, this is definitely harder. So if you want to win more games, it's better to play on alternative accounts. This is the Whisper Kit, and it has an owl which can carry people into the sky. Now normally, if the player goes over land, they will start to fall. But what if we don't go over anything? Will we be able to infinitely fly? Okay, I jumped down. Now let's fly up. And dude, we are soaring. This might actually be confirmed. Never mind. This next myth is one that actually used to be true, which is that there is a way for both teams to win, ending the match in a draw, me and my altar on this bridge, with no beds at all, and the platform we're standing on is about to get deleted, which in theory would make us both fall and die at the exact same time. Moment of truth and… yeah, it's not saying any team won. These are nothing in comparison to the myths that we'll be busting later on in the video, so trust me, you don't want to miss it. Back in the day, there was a glitch allowing you to never lose a match. By having your teammates slash lobby, you would entirely keep your win streak. Many players say this got patched, but let's put that to the test. I currently have a two win streak, now let me slash lobby on my alt. And yo, what? We actually kept the win streak, meaning that you could have an infinite win streak by abusing this glitch. Myth confirmed. With the new Roblox update, many players think that wall hopping is now impossible, so I set up this massive wool wall, and let's see if I can get to the top. I spent around 15 minutes trying to climb up this wall. Until finally, we're so close. We're so close. Let's go. Yeah, this myth is busted. Apparently, there's a way to get infinite HP in a lucky block match. By using the mass hammer's ability, you will double your HP. I highly doubt this works, but let's see what happens. And no way. No way. He just got over 1000 HP. Yeah, this is definitely gonna get patched. Myth confirmed. Bedwars just added AF K crates, which have the chance of giving you a permanent kit. But do they give battle pass kits? I spent nearly 15 hours grinding and got over 18,000 coins. Okay, I'm about to open it, so let's see what we get. And oh, that is garbage. I opened 5 crates and didn't even unlock a regular kit. And after looking everywhere, I could only find one clip of someone unlocking a kit. While it might be possible, for now, this myth is busted. The Umbra kit allows players to teleport to their enemies, but what if they leave the game? Now you guys probably will think, oh, it just will despawn, but some people say that you can actually teleport to people who are in the lobby. So let me slash bedwars on my alt, and now let's teleport to my opponent who's in the lobby. And no way that just worked. Okay, that was just a joke. Myth busted. A myth to come will only get crazier as the video goes on, and if you want to subscribe, it would be a huge help, but only if you think I've earned it. This is a titan boss. And apparently, you can instantly kill it with the Void Sword. Okay, so we got the weapon, and I think all I have to do is just swing. And dude, we literally just three-shotted him. Yeah, that myth is confirmed. Apparently, there is a way to become bigger than the entire map. By combining the Mass Hammer with the Fire Enchant, you'll become bigger than the map. Just look at this. I don't even know how this works, but that's myth confirmed. This is Sky Wars, the sweatiest game mode in all of Bed Wars. And there's a bug which allowed players to glitch out of the spectator box to get loot before the game started. Now this was unfortunately fixed, but apparently there's still a way to do it. By standing in the corner and using this emote, you will glitch out of the spectator box. I don't even know how this still works. That's myth confirmed. This is the crypt kit, and there's a myth that crypt skeletons will actually kill the monarch without you having to do anything. No chance this is true. Let me spawn in the skeletons, and now the boss should spawn. 
and oh my gosh, they're tearing through his health. I'm actually not doing anything. Okay, he should be dead any moment, and yeah, that's definitely myth confirmed. A recent update patched AFK farming, but apparently, there's still a way to do it. By putting your mouse in this position and turning on your auto clicker, you would have been able to automatically queue for a game, but now, you actually have to put something on your space bar to make your character spam jump. This will trick the game into thinking you're not AFK and will allow you to get free XP. Myth confirmed. Now this next myth may actually get you banned because apparently there is a glitch that will make you look exactly like a hacker. So you have to use an emote and then dash with the jade hammer. And wait, what? Wait, what? This is actually so weird. I can just walk around while emoting. And I think this also works with Yuzi. Myth confirmed. This is the sand temple map, one of the strangest maps in the game. But apparently you can zero iron rush without Yuzi. Let's put that to the test. And okay, we're already at at mid so let's rush over now let's jump over here and yeah that looks way too far yeah no way this is gonna work let's myth bust it this is the zephyr kit and apparently by combining the wind stacks with the firecracker you can instantly reach the height limit okay so i have five stacks and i'm gonna throw the firecracker in three two one and oh my gosh this is actually broken now it took me a while to figure out how this even works but it seems like the wind stacks will also so hit you, allowing for this crazy glitch to be performed. But I'm really praying this next myth is true, because if it is, fall damage will no longer be a thing. So apparently, if you fall off the map, you can entirely negate your fall damage by gliding on a block tower. So I've created this tower, and now let's do this jump. And we die, but I want to give it one more try. And yup, that's myth busted. Apparently, there's a way to infinitely heal in lucky blocks, by using the mass hammer you will instantly go back to full HP. There is no way this works. Let me jump from max height and now use some Mass Hammer's ability. And no way, bro. We just went to full HP in a second. Yeah, that's myth confirmed. And is a kit that will execute a player when they're below 25 HP. But what if I eat a health apple while being executed? Will I heal and not get executed? Well, let's put that to the test. And no, I still died. Myth busted. This is the cannon, an item which allows players to easily traverse the map but it comes at a cost every time you use its ability you lose health but can you actually die to the cannon okay so we're nearly dead just one more shot and yup that's what i thought i don't know why this is but my best guess would be that is to prevent players from using the cannon to run away when they're low this is the fortuna kit aka the level 35 battle pass kit and the kit has recently become the best kit in roblox bed wars by picking the right cards you can easily do over 300 damage which can one shot any player and this is literally a free kit so anyone could get it myth confirmed now this next myth may permanently change the way you play bed wars as some people say the armor protection stat actually works without armor let's put that to the test i normally take 20 damage per hit but now let's buy the upgrade and yup still 20 damage so if you don't plan to buy armor then definitely avoid this upgrade that myth is false the myths will only get crazier as the video goes on, with number one being by far the most insane, so you don't want to miss it. There's a myth that one tap method is actually better than spam click method, which according to the developers isn't true. But let's put that to the test. We did 10 different tests where we both used different methods, and after all of that, one tap method clearly came out on top. Myth confirmed. A new update allows players to set their knockback to whatever they want, but can you set it to infinite? Okay, so we can't do infinite, so let's Let's do 9,999,000. I'm gonna have my ult hit me in 3, 2, 1. And we just traveled outside of the map. There's no way, dude. But yeah, that's definitely myth There's an age-old myth that a fireball will infinitely reflect if two players are holding inferno shields. I'm gonna throw the ball in 3, 2, 1. No way it's actually working. And it despawned. But that's definitely myth confirmed. The void is back, returning with a brand new void armor. And there's a myth that you are invincible on your first hit. I'm currently at max height, so let's see if this works. Nah, that's actually crazy. It seems like there's an armor icon which tells you when the ability is ready. Myth confirmed. As we all know, by typing the command slash lobby or slash bed wars, you'll go straight back into the lobby. But back in the day, the lobby command used to be slash hub, which brings us to the question, does slash
Flash Hub still teleports you to the lobby. Let me type it in chat, and it failed. That's myth busted. Bed Wars recently dropped a brand new game mode called One in the Chamber, which is where players fight each other with the Yuzi, Dao, and Bo. But there is a bug which allows players to completely glitch out of the map by dashing onto this platform and then going up here, you will be completely out of bounds. This is actually a pretty good sniping spot. So yeah, this myth is true. This is the electric kit, a kit that allows players to do a teleporting dash. But apparently, there's a way to use the kit to take no fall damage. By using the ability at the last second, you will not take any fall damage, just like Yuzi or Jade. This is a Terra kit, a kit which allows players to fling blocks, but it has a special ability to destroy parts of the map. But this brings the question, can Terra break bedrock, which is said to be indestructible? I currently have a bedrock bed defense, and he's about to smash it. Well, that was anticlimactic. This myth is false. This is the Ignis kit. And apparently, you can use the kit to go up to the spectator box. Yeah, by standing in this position and then throwing the spirit bridge, you will actually be able to climb all the way to the top. I'm about to throw the bridge and bro, no way this works. Yeah, that's definitely myth confirmed. If you've played Bed Wars for any amount of time, then you might have noticed that there are NPCs next to their specific game mode. And there's a myth that if you get close enough to them, they will actually start to look at you. I don't even know why they do this, but this is actually kind of scary. Please do not do this. But this next myth is one I'm really hoping isn't true, which is that Bed Wars removed the ability to get to the spectator box. I'm using the classic Davy gumdrop strategy. Let's launch up and throw a pearl. And no, did Bed Wars actually remove it? Looking around in the free cam, it really does seem like that's the case. This myth is unfortunately true. This this is the Whisper Kit, and this is also the Whisper Kit. Now there's a myth that you can whisper a whisper, basically having both players use the birds on each other. This took me a little while to actually get to work, but yeah, it definitely does. Probably the most useless thing ever. This is the Trinity Kit, and by combining it with the Void Enchant, you can infinitely heal. There's no way this works. Let's get the Enchant, and now when I kill this guy, it should bring me up to full health. And yo, it actually works? It literally just gave me full HP. That's like a better version of Grim Reaper. Now the final myth is that you will enjoy the video on the screen. Click to find out. But anyways, thank you for watching.